everyone, it's Mrs. Goddard from the Middle Country Public Library and today I'm going to do a short demonstration video um, on a teen craft that we have for you called DIY do-it-yourself back-to-school crafts washi tape binder and dry erase board. The video is just going to be a demonstration of what you're going to find in the bag since we've included detailed instructions on how to complete the craft. So in your craft bag, you're going to find some washi tape, some duct tape, a magnetic dry erase marker. This is going to be used um, when you make your dry erase board. A magnetic photo holder that you're going to use to make a dry erase board. So this way it'll automatically stick in your locker. Some cardstock and a plain one inch binder. You will also find your um, take and make sheet that tells you the materials that you should have. As well as a um, information step-by-step um, -step guide on how to make your DIY binder cover and how to make your dry erase board. Again, you will have detailed instructions on how to do your craft, but you'll use one piece of um, white cardstock to decorate with washi tape duct tape. You can also decorate it with markers, colored pencils, whatever you feel like using to be creative. And when that is done, it simply slides into the front cover. So again, there are detailed instructions in your bag on how to make your do-it-yourself washi tape binder. The other instructions tell you how step-by-step -step, to make the dry erase board, but just something to be aware of. Because the dry erase board is smaller, you might want to fold a piece fold a piece of the cardstock and cut it in half with scissors that you have at home. Okay, and then because it has to slip in and fit into the um, magnetic photo holder, you might just have to trim it a little bit, okay, on the side because as you see, it doesn't quite fit in all the way. So I'm just gonna take my scissors. It doesn't have to be perfect because remember, you're going to be using washi tape. And I'm just going to trim a little bit at a time until it finally fits in. Let's just do a little bit more. Okay, and now it's trimmed enough that it fits in. Okay, so um, that is just something you kind of just have to um, take a look and decide how much you're going to trim off. Okay, so everything that you need in the bag will be included to make a do-it-yourself washi covered binder. You have a binder, cardstock, some washi tape. Now remember that you can also decorate it any way that you like. A magnetic photo holder that you will use um, to make a dry erase board, a magnetic dry erase pen, as well as your detailed instructions. I hope you enjoy it and um, hopefully it will, um, you know, help you personalize some of your back to school crafts and your back to school items.
Thank you. Thank you.